Hello guys, welcome to the attend session. In this session, we will create our first program using the ML.NET. For each session, I will create a new folder. So you can easily trace it if you have any issue or a doubt. Let me create a folder for session 10. Create a new class. Name demo. Within that, create a new method that will be executed from the program.cs file. So we need to create it static. Write public static void execute. As I said previously, in ML.NET everything is around the ML context. So we need to create an instance of the ML context. I have a plugin which will automatically add the missing namespace. We can also pass the optional value for the seed parameter. Using this parameter, we can see the SM value that will be used across the multiple training. I am not specifying it, so it will take the random value every time. In this session, we will create a simple model for predicting salary of an employee based on the number of year of experience. I know in the real world, experience is not only criteria, but there are also several other criteria that will be considered for the salary. But here I want to make those examples simple as possible. So we are going to just consider experience only. Now we need to load the data. For this, we need to create a POCO model. Create a new class. Input model. Add a property for float years of experience. And a float salary. In this session, we will load data from the innumerable. For this, I have already created a list of input model. So let me paste it here. I have filled some data from the 1 year experience to the 9 year experience. You can add more data too. Let me collapse this for the better visibility. Now we have data. We need to load it. For this we need to use the context.data. And we have data in the innumerable. So we need to use load from innumerable. Now we need to prepare this data. Create an estimator. Use the context.transforms. Now we need to specify the features for our input. Features are the data that algorithm will check. In our example, only years of experience is a feature. So use the concat method and specify feature as output column name and array containing gears of experience as the input column name. Now we need to create a pipeline. We need to append it on the estimator. We want to perform the regression task and want to specify the trainer. Here you can see that it shows the list of algorithm that is supported by the regression task. LBFGS positional regression, online gradient descent, and SDCA. Those are the standard trainer algorithm. We can also add the some additional trainer algorithm by storing a respective NuGet package. For now, we will continue with the uh, SDCA. It stands for Stochastic Dual Coordinate Ascent Matter. It is uh, one of the popular algorithm for regression. It takes the uh, several parameters. Commonly use the parameter label column name, using which we can specify the label for the our data. A label name is the name of the column that we are going to predict. For this example, it would be a salary. Next is feature column name. We we'll specify the uh, column name from which model will be predict the value. In our case, it's a features not the years of experience. During pre-processing data, we have concatenated the column into the name feature. Column name for the weightage, loss function, 
value for L1 and L2 regularization and a maximum number of iteration. All those parameters have their default values. So it's optional to pass the value for those all parameter. Let me pass the salary in the label column name and set maximum number of iteration to 100. Here I am not passing the value for features column name as the default value is a features and now we have the pipeline we need to create a model for this we need to use the fit method of the pipeline within that we need to pass the training data for this example i am not going to evaluate the model so directly create the prediction engine for this use the context.model.create prediction engine method in the generic parameter, we need to specify the type of input as well as the response. Input will be input model and output will be a result model. And pass the model that we have created. We have already created input model, but we need to create the result model class. Create a new class named result model. It just contains the single property that represents the predicted salary. So I am using the salary as a name. However, data written by this algorithm will be name score. So we can change this property name to the score. Instead of this, I am going to use the column name attribute on this property. And this specify the name will be score. Create an instance of the input model with the five year of experience. Let obtain the result using the predict method of the prediction engine. And print a prox salary for years of experience. Will be salary. Now we have class that will create a model as well as perform the prediction based on it. But we need to execute this method from the program.cs. Call the SS intent demo execute method. Save all the file and run the project. Here we got the approx 73,000 for the 5 year of experience. And let me change to the 10 year. Execute it again. Here you can see that we got around 120,000 as per the SDCA algorithm. Let's see what we have learned in this session. In this session, we have created a simple demo of the regression task. For this, we have loaded the data from the enumeration, concat all fields into the feature, specify the SDC as a trainer. Within that, specify the label and the number of iteration. After this, we have created a model and filled the train data set, created a prediction engine, and predict salary for the 5 year and 10 year of experience. Here are input and result model that we have created. Note that I have not made any of class as a public as I will follow the same folder structure and naming convention for the further session so it does not generate the uh, any issue. Stay tuned for the next session.